Greetings fellow drone enthusiasts, we're going to show you really quickly some of the hidden features that you will find on the Mavic Mini Fly app and this is very useful especially if you're going to fly like we did today in an area that it's crowded with either buildings or trees because if you go too high to avoid these obstacles chances are that you will lose line of sight of your drone so you do need to have very clear which features on the fly app will allow you to track your device remember that we always have to check for uh, the minimum height on this occasion since we're flying in a very uh, crowded area we're going to use an identification because we use the UAV data fly data app and it's telling us that someone is flying nearby so we need to make our drone recognizable and I will change simply the name to be my nickname as I am the pilot so it will be easier for them to interact it only allows me for 10 characters so do be very aware of that and this is the name that the drone will be broadcasting that's my identification identification I'm sorry so let's go back I want to show you right now we're having some issues with the GPS signal as you can see when we click on this uh, arc right here in the middle of the screen you will notice it this is a direction finder for your drone the small point on the middle it's you if you click on the map it super supersedes the the flight instrument and it gives you more data right now we can see that we're not finding the GPS and the thing is that both the map and that instrument they use two compasses the one that is on your phone and the other one that is on the drone the drone has a compass and also your phone which is why you always have to enable your location on your phone as we did uh, it's telling us right now where the phone or the controller is but it's not able to connect to the GPS we will wait a little bit more it's telling us that we do need a compass calibration and I really warn us about the area okay now you can see the drone it's to the left hand side of the controller and I am facing towards the chairs now I, I am moving the drone and you can see the camera and when I rotate the drone the small uh, triangle on this arc which is the drone changes its direction and this is to let you know where the drone is pointing at and where am I pointing at right now you have to establish a strong connection with the GPS right now we have somewhere between 8 and 9 and it's because of the obstacles with the tall buildings here you can see that it's telling me okay the drone is to my left hand side and it's facing to the left now it's telling me it's right in front of the remote controller I'm behind it but it needs more GPS we're very close now when you change to the map uh, the small icon disappears and it's because it doesn't allow you to have both interfaces this is be better, better I'm sorry if you're flying uh, at really low altitudes and you can see your drone especially if you're doing some excellent cinematographic shots but if you're going to have your drone flying far away I always suggest you use the map and this is just to uh, be aware of where your drone is at always remember you need to know where your device is flying with respect to you so both of these features, the map and the small navigation pad right there, are your best options. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.